Hi, welcome back to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. I'd like to go ahead and start off this segment by uh, apologizing if I mispronounce any words in this segment. Um, it, I do not speak Japanese, so I'll be pronouncing Japanese names and words phonetically. Uh, if you do happen to notice a mispronunciation and um, you'd like to educate me on it, I very much welcome and appreciate that. All right, thank you. Today we are looking at a six panel screen painting created possibly in the 16th century and attributed to the Japanese female artist Chio Mitsuhisa. The title of the painting translates in English to presentation of a prince and depicts a scene from what some consider the world's very first novel titled The Tale of Genji. The Tale of Genji was written by the Japanese noblewoman Murasaki Shikibu in the 11th century. The novel, which follows the fictional life story of Genji, the son of an ancient Japanese emperor. The painting depicts a scene from the first chapter of the book in which a young Genji is presented to the emperor. Here, Genji is seen dressed in a white patterned robe and is seated on a mat to the lower right of the emperor. Most of the details of Chiyo Mitsuhisa's fascinating life have been lost to time. In fact, we don't even know exactly when she was alive. What we do know is that she was an incredibly talented artist from a family of superstar artists. Chio's father was the head of the Tosa School of Painting, a style that focused on traditional Japanese painting style and subject matter. Chio Mitsuhisa married another famous Japanese painter, Kano Motonobu. He was the head of the Kano School of Painting, which was influenced by Chinese style of painting. Their union changed the course of Japanese painting forever. After their marriage, Motonobu became, began including more traditional Japanese subjects in his work evidently influenced by his wife's family style, thus influencing the style of the Kano school. Chio Mitsuisa was in her time a well-known illustrator of stories and poetry books and was most famous for her depiction of the tale of Genji. And this painting in particular is a great representation of her mastery of both the Tosa and Kano style of painting. The question I pose to you is how does the illustration of a story influence your perception of the plot and characters? Have you ever created an illustration of a story that you love to express your mental picture of those characters? As a young teen, I loved to illustrate my favorite characters of the Harry Potter world as my mental pictures of them were so different from the books and films. If you'd like to see Presentation of a Prince, please visit it in Gallery 124 as a part of the Women Breaking Boundaries exhibition.